Hey YouTube, it's Navy98 here, back with another update video on the World War I French Adrian Helmet Restoration Project. So this will be a quick one. Um, just going to talk about what I did since part one, which involved the, the rust removal on the helmet, kind of go over, going over a brief overview of the helmet, uh, what I found while looking at it. And um, so here's where I'm at right now. I went ahead and removed the comb. I had sourced um, an original artillery uh, crest for the helmet off of eBay. I went ahead and uh, finished up a little bit of the rust removal and took some Bondo and knocked out mainly the uh, rusty holy areas on the brim of the helmet all around and then filled in the post-war rivets uh, that were added to put a liner in the helmet. So again, uh, mainly keeping the helmet um, as is uh, with the dents and uh, a lot of the pitting uh, on the main part of the helmet. I did some paint matching with the paint that was left on the helmet. So it turned out that it was a uh, one of the lighter Horizon Blue varieties that was on this helmet. So that's what I'm gonna keep it as. Turn it over. Uh, here's what the inside of the helmet looks like. I went ahead and sourced the uh, tabs to replace those uh, which hold in the corrugated aluminum. Um, those were completely gone from this, uh, this helmet. So I went ahead and sourced those and uh, silver soldered them in, brazed them in uh, to stay put. And essentially next step, I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat of this uh, Duplicolor primer, filler um, that I use for most of my projects. Give it a good couple coats of that, uh, do some more sanding, and then put everything back on and put the final coat uh, of blue paint on. And I'll show that later on in the video. All right, guys, it's been about a week and a half since that last bit of video was taken. Um, as you can see, the helmet's done. Uh, with all the cra craziness going on in the world right now, I just went ahead and powered through this, uh, got it all done. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to take a lot of video uh, between what you saw last and the finished product, but I'll go ahead and describe it as best I can. So um, the last bit of video showed me uh, how I bondoed uh, the major holes that were in the brim of the helmet and uh, patched up the, the holes that were remaining from the rivets that were installed for the liner sometime post-war. So I went ahead and took care of that, uh, put a coat of rust uh, converter on the helmet to get all the remaining rust uh, uh, knocked out. Uh, hit it with uh, three coats of Duplicolor, the primer filler uh, gray paint. Did a little bit more sanding on it just to knock out some rough areas. And then uh, went ahead and assembled everything back together. As you see here, <laughs> and then added the and then went ahead and uh, used my airbrush to put the uh, couple coats of the the horizon blue paint on and again i went ahead and matched this as best as i could with the re remaining blue that was left on the helmet when i did all the rust removal and um, it actually did a pretty good job of matching what was on there so got out with the blue paint and then I went back in and if you've seen my other videos, I don't really like uh, shiny brand new uh, restoration projects. So I went ahead and uh, weathered it uh, to just make it look like it was used and it wasn't brand new off the factory floor. Um, also added the, the chin strap. So I think it looks pretty good. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip it over so you guys can see the inside. So as I said, uh, I sourced a reproduction liner in the corrugated uh, aluminum spacers, as well as the tabs that hold the spacers in, and also the chin strap uh, from a company called Prairie Flower Leather Company. And if you guys are in the market for any kind of reproduction um, helmet accessories for British helmets, uh, American helmets, 
and French Belgium, Belgian helmets. Uh, they, they are the go-to source, in my opinion, for high quality reproductions in the States. It's all made to order, um, made by hand, uh, fantastic customer service. I have no affiliation with them. I just know what the, the service I got was great. Um, they offer a different, couple different styles of the French helmet liner. Uh, this is the first pattern style with the six um, pieces of leather and it's dyed the, the black leather uh, like you would see um, back in World War One. There is multiple styles of these. Uh, a good resource online that I found, um, which is a French website actually, is uh, worldwarhelmets.com. Go ahead and put a link to them in the description below. Um, you have to register uh, for the website and it does translate it to English, um, but it's a, an invaluable source if you're looking to do a helmet restoration project or if you're trying to figure out uh, what kind of helmet you have and, and date it. Uh, very good resource, especially for the French Adrian helmets. So got all that put in there, got the, um, the chin strap put on, and again, finished product. Again, apologize for not getting quite all the the video uh, knocked out for the different steps in this in this process but again crazy times right now uh, so hope everyone's do, uh, safe doing well not sure what my next project's going to be um, i have a couple ideas but you'll just have to stay tuned in the meantime again please stay safe if you like this video give it a like subscribe if you aren't a subscriber um, in the future, I'll probably do a, uh, probably a 50 subscriber, subscriber giveaway um, of a uh, World War I item. So if we get to 50 subscribers, we'll do a giveaway for that. But I hope you like it. Take care and go Navy.